All right, a strong show of support today for an African American man charged with felony evading deputies. As 10 News reporter Ashley DiMartino explains, Tari Robinson's supporters believe he did the right thing when sheriff's deputies pulled him over in December. About a handful of people gathered outside the El Cajon courthouse with signs in hand just before 8 a.m. to show their support for Tori Robinson. As the morning went on, more and more people arrived and inside the courtroom, it was standing room only. Community activists and family members gathered in solidarity outside El Cajon courthouse in support of Tori Robinson. It's common knowledge to, you know, drive to a well-lit area or where there's people or witnesses around if you're fearful of the police and a lot of our black men are fearful of the police because of all of the things that's been going on in the black community. Friday, Robinson appeared in court for his readiness conference in which the judge set a bail review and preliminary trial date for next week. Robinson is charged with felony evading police during a traffic stop on December 26. San Diego County Sheriff's claim they attempted to pull Robinson over for a faulty taillight, but Robinson wouldn't stop. However, Robinson supporters are saying that's not true, and they are accusing the Sheriff's Department of racial profiling. This is the kind of charge that's given to black people every day, and this is what the black community faces all the time, is they get, they get charged with felonies, they get charged with so many different infractions and misdemeanors and felonies that they get really scared and they take pleas for things that they never even did. It creates a criminal record and then that follows them the rest of their life. Robinson's father spoke to us off camera. He says he believes his son is innocent and he is grateful for the community's support. In El Cajon, Ashley DiMartino, 10 News.